Welcome back to Adri's Homestead Life. Today we are going to make a few, do a few bits and bobs. I have got this yogurt I've just made actually yesterday ready and we are going to make some more yogurt today. So we're going to make another quart jar. This is a very nice thick yogurt and I'm going to make using uh, oats, we're going to make overnight oats. So I'm just going to mix the two together, the yogurt and the oats, leave it in the fridge. Tomorrow we're just going to flavor it with jam or raspberry or goji berry from the garden or maple syrup or honey. It makes a nice breakfast. So we're going to deal with that in a minute. And we're going to use a cup or close to a cup of our already made yogurt to make some more yogurt. Also, I harvested yesterday, I had a very busy day, I've harvested most of the cucumbers from the polytunnel and I've started on the courgette that just finished in a freeze dryer, we've done that together actually, so that's finished. The one freeze dryer has finished now, the other one I'm waiting now, I've got a few more hours left, but I've harvested the cucumbers yesterday. So much cucumbers we had, I didn't know what to do with it, you know, actually I've made, it's such an amazing way, just I peel it, slice it and I put it in a liter of water, maybe like a handful and gives that most amazing like cucumber water, you know, water tastes like cucumber, that's delicious. So I've been doing that, I'm going to pickle some, just a few jar to the fridge, like a fridge pickle, so I've got the brine, it's just been boiling. Uh, in the, on the stove. Also, I've got water boiling and I've just heard something, a fermented cucumber. I've, I've, just, I've done actually quite a big uh, fermenting uh, vessel full of fermented cucumber. I feel that. So that's gonna be fun. I filled, I don't know how many kilo I must have put in it. I filled, filled it quite, quite up. And I poured over, I've used four teaspoons of pink Himalayan salt in one liter of water. I've stirred it until it dissolved really well. I put quite a few bay leaves and garlic in there and just poured the water over it. So I am curious how that's gonna turn out. Yeah, I'm making dumplings. I've got these little teeny tiny potatoes. It needs to be used up first because they won't last the long in storage and I'm just gonna make uh, some dumplings with some sheep's cheese and some buttermilk and a cream what we've made and I've got some bacon in here so I'm just going to uh, fry this bacon up that will make a nice lunch for me also today actually I would like to show you my storage the pantry we're gonna go to my inside and outside pantry, the annex, and I show you so far together what we've managed to put up for the winter months. And well, in my case, my storage is filled now up to a year. And I'm sure I I can think about a few more things along the way. Also, I am we are going to deal with the shallot and some uh, the shallots and the onions. We're going to put that up for storage. Oh, just fill mine in a basket. We might go out and fill this basket with potatoes because now I'm quite low in it. So I like to have a basket full in a in a kitchen. And um, you know, it's just just another day with me in a kitchen. So, if you're interested, you are welcome to my kitchen again today. I'm just going to, probably I'll leave most of the skin off. I'm only cutting out the best bits. I'm going to put this through the blender, put a bit more salt in it and some uh, plain flour and mix it together as a wet dough. And I've got this little handy tool behind me and we're just going to put that in a boiling water and I'm gonna have that for lunch. 
Right. Let's take the water just cool down for a touch. So I'm gonna fill these two jars with it. I love this this smell in my uh, kitchen when I'm pickling cucumbers. This reminds me from home and my mum used to do it. So that's it. I don't need to be too accurate because this is now will stay in a fridge. I'm not gonna preserve this too long. I'm just put the lids on and I let it cool completely before I put it in a fridge. So that that's job another job is done. I'm gonna do the overnight oat. So what I'm gonna do I'm just going to pour one two cups of I'm using this organic oat jumbo oats and I'm pouring over some yogurt. How nice thick our yogurt is what we've made together. So we put one, two, and then we need one cup for our next batch. I'm just going to pasteurize 800 ml of water and I'm gonna use this much of our homemade yogurt and I will put this back in a quart jar like this. Well, this one we got a little bit left. Actually, we can use this up maybe in our oat. I'll just give it a good stir and just leave this in a fridge. Okay, I'm going to pasteurize this milk. I'll heat this up for 162 degrees Fahrenheit and I leave it there for 15 seconds. Then let it cool down for 110 to 100 and, or 115 Fahrenheit degrees Fahrenheit before we are stir just a shy of one cup of our homemade yogurt in that pasteurized milk and fill it, fill the quart jar back with it and leave it out in my, by my agar a nice warm temperature for a good 8 to 12 hours and we can put it in a fridge. I just blended the potato and I'm going to measure out how many cups. So that's one. Two, I think it's about three cups. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna use all this up. So, so three cups of blended potato. I'm going to put. Some flour. And salt. I'm gonna put a teaspoon and a half pink Himalayan salt. And I'm going to start with a cup of flour, the all purpose flour, and mix this in really well. all combined going over the stove. I think yeah. and that's it. That's enough. The milk is nearly up to temperature of 162 degrees Fahrenheit. We are on 159, so I need to keep my eye on it. Next to me the water is boiling, so we are ready. And I've also, the bacon is ready for lunch. 
much. So, it's how many been. Fifty nine. It's a few more degrees. And I'm going to use this little tool in my next step. I'll put this over the boiling water. This on the top, it's ready. The temperature 160, 161, 162. I take this off the heat now and leave it on at 162 for 16 seconds. 15 seconds and we can remove this from the heat. I'll just put this through. This is ready within a few minutes. Cooks within 3-4 minutes in this boiling water. to the top and stays there it's ready to come out because I've used some pink potatoes as well so I'm gonna be beigey pinky the dough the dumplings all right lunch is nearly ready time is up I'm ready to take the dumplings out of the hot water and I've got a sheep's cheese in my bowl. Can go in there. I absolutely love this dish. And it didn't take that long, did it? I'll take this off the heat now. And just remove all the dumplings. From this water, it's very starchy. The water turned really, really thick. So I'm just gonna give it a good stir with that cheese. Put some cream, sour cream, on the top. Give it a good stir. And those bacon pieces. And lunch is ready. I am ready to dish up. And just stir soft sheep's cheese with the dumplings. I'm gonna put some of this. Put some homemade buttermilk actually over. A little bit of freeze dried dill on the top, and it's done. Oh, it smells gorgeous! Freeze dried meat dill. Let's have a taste test. Mm. That is delicious. It's one of my favorite meal. Absolutely love it. Mm. I also keep my eye on this milk for the yogurt. It's gone down to 124. It needs to go down at least 115. 
110 degrees Fahrenheit before we can put the yogurt in it. And I'm going to give it a good mix and leave it by the agar. After lunch, see you in the pantry. Welcome to the outside pantry. So this pantry has got three sides and it is an outside building next to our house. The one right behind me is the one what me and you made together this year. So what I was thinking I'm gonna make probably a sign to put up that in 2023 because this one is 2022 and this one is 2021. Yeah, so I think we've got lots of food to eat. Let's start the top. The top shelf has got a little bit of a space. So the last what we've done it was the pizza sauce and made all these delicious pizza sauce. Okay, move one down. We've been busy making here. Oh, I remember this day. Cajun spice blend, tomato sauce. So all these three rows are different blends. Mexican spice blend and the basil, yeah. And then we've made sweet chili together, apple pie filling and the gooseberry. Oh, you know, I love doing this. I honestly love this life. Because it brings back, every time I'm going to open one of these jars, will bring back memories of the summer, of the spring and autumn. And we've done it, I nearly dropped it. <laughs> That's the marinara sauce. And oven roasted marinara. This is going to be the cowboy candy. Yeah, we've made this with our jalapeno peppers, stewed tomatoes and vegetables. And we've managed to harvest lots of honey this year and I've made these little cute labels as well. So we've got the green beans, all the honey, plum pie, what we've made together. It was a very good plum year this year. Some more jalapeno salsa, zesty salsa, plum compote, carrot pepper salsa. It's funny, I can't remember half of it now, what we've made. And this is the Cajun Mexican basil tomato, you know, when we had an accident and I had to redo it. That was funny. We've got, oh, we've made all these barbecue sauce, sweet chili sauce, chicken soup. I think they are chicken stock. Grape compote. Grandma's chili sauce. The Hawthorne ketchup, that was the last one we've made. Chinese style plum sauce, uh, samosa, this is strawberry jam, mixed berries, Victoria plum, spicy plum sauce. So all this, it's what we have made this year. And we've also, I've also got the inside pantry where I usually keep you know, more like herbs, nuts, freeze-dried stuff. And we've got the annex where I've started to store the more freeze-dried goods. And, you know, the storage of the winter squash. We're going to harvest that very soon. The, I'm probably going to have a go. I'm going to have an experiment to store some carrots there. Maybe carrots and parsnip. But the, at the moment we've got garlic, onion, potatoes, so yeah, we have, I've got, I like to have a thermometer here, so and I like to monitor it over the summer, hot summer days and cold summer months, just in case, you know, if it's really cold I might need to put heater in here or if it's in the summer I need to take some other measurements, so this, all this is from two years ago, so I really should have eaten all this by now, but, you know, I've got 
applesauce and some chutneys up there, green tomato chutneys. I've got, I've still got some sauerkraut in here and some gherkins and lots of beetroot. Victoria plum jam, seafood cocktail sauce, more gherkin, apple puree, it says Merry Christmas on it, rose hip syrup, chicken wing sauce, runa bean chutney, elderflower vinegar. That sounds good. Uh, last couple of years we had a very good uh, honey harvest, so all these are honeys. Roasted veggie puttanesca, tomato paste, strawberry jam, Boston baked beans, gooseberry jam. Wow! Sweet chili sauce, spaghetti sauce with meat, pickled onions, lots of jam, spread, tomato and tomatillo salsa. We still got loads of tomatillo salsa. I'm waiting on. Uh, I'm just actually waiting on the tomatillo. It's, it's, it's nearly done and I've still got some coriander as well in the garden. We've just started to go over so I'm hoping that next week we can make some more salsa verde sauce or tomatillo salsa together. I've got some green beans, green gauge jam, chili, salsa verde chicken, more gherkins. Wow! And all these still from last year. Up there I've got that sweet chili jam. I think we're gonna <laughs> have a good good time eating all these. Uh, all that beetroot up there. So I don't, I really don't need to, uh, I've got so much beetroot. But I might try to uh, overwinter some in a garden or do it in the annex. That's honey. Green beans, gherkins, chicken broth, more honey, strawberry jam, rose hip and hawthorn syrup. Wow. I'm amazed what I've been doing. <laughs> Apple pie filling, more honey, strawberry, raspberry, loganberry compote, gooseberry, tomato soup, basic tomato sauce with basil. Oh, wow, ketchup, rose hip jam. I've got some carrots there still from last year, so I don't need to count carrots neither. Chili, apple cider vinegar in the bottles in the back, spaghetti sauce with meat, tomato puree. This is a very good inventory, so I know what I need, I don't need. I really don't need tomatillo salsa, so I think we can just eat it fresh this year because I've got so much left. You know, I'm so glad we've just done this because we don't really need much here now to be honest i uh, i've just i'm going to freeze dry some hawthorn berry for tea and we go i'm going to have like a half a day go and pick some rose hips and i might do some rose hip jam and some rose hip tea so we're gonna freeze dry some for rose hip tea but yeah and overall i am really really happy Another thing this year, you know, we had the big freezer, so I, we are butchering our, started butchering our own meat as well. So that is exciting. Welcome to the garden. The 6th of October, this Friday, and next five days, it's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna have temperatures hopefully in 20, early 20s in Celsius. I am going to harvest all the carrots today. So I'm thinking of harvesting. Can you see those sunflowers? It's gonna be windy this afternoon so I might have to remove a couple of those sunflowers.
still got some lovely carrots. I'm thinking about to storage. Store them in the annex in a Hassan sack and see how it goes. Wow, da da! Lovely. Wow, what a warm day. I've decided to do some clearing out. I've been weeding and getting ready the bed so we can bring some um, fall crop over, some brassicas. I still got some think, cauliflower, cabbages, uh, kale, Brussels sprouts. So one of these, probably I put the Brussels sprouts out here and uh, probably cauliflower and kale will go to the polytunnel. Cabbages should be all right out here. So let me show you the, the carrot harvest. The wind is picking up now, but we managed to have all these carrots. Look, that's the second harvest. So I'm very happy with that. Right, this is all the carrot. I'm going to take this to the annex and lay it out in one nice layer nicely to cure before we're going to put in a Hussein sack and then we're going to put it where the potatoes are. I fill the potatoes so that's staying in here. The onions staying in here as well and I have to deliver the shallots. I've got those two bottles for the goat's milk if you need one. I'm gonna take this into the pantry. Alright, what's in here? Oh wow! We've got all these courgettes as well. We did have a good courgette, yeah. So this is my inside pantry. Up there I've got some pasta machine attachment. We've got all these are from last year or year before. It's got some pickled beetroot up there. In that jar, it's uh, sorrel powder, apple, onion, and mixed berries, cherry tomatoes, calendula, plum, apple. That looks like a. Got some more garlic powder. Yeah, that's chestnut. That's for wash doing the washing laundry. Looks like chives and that's, I think this is a uh, apple puree snacks. Down here we've got some red cabbage, bay leaves. This looks like a uh, potato powder, goji berry. I think this is milk powder in a coffee jar. Mushroom, some walnuts. We've got some nasturtium, stevia. Chamomile, ginger mint and basil leaves, uh, elderberries, some more mushroom and calendula, more elderberries, nettle, catnip, calendula, elderflower for tea, but all these nasturtium and basil flowers, more calendula. What I've got in here? Oh, some garlic storage containers, okra and the beans. These are all the dried beans and all the spices. Ooh, this is a courgette as well. More mushroom. This is my vanilla. I make my own vanilla. In the back there is cauliflower, it's parsley, celery, some more oregano, Basil. I think this is dock, dock leaf. 
duck flower, lemon balm, calendula, corn silk, all sorts, apple powder, grape powder. And this is my uh, green powder, tomato powder, dandelion root, wow. <laughs> and I've got yeah, quite a bit of uh, salt and storage and that's my uh, stash of pastas in here and some it says raw eggs, but they're only Myla bags, quite a few things in the Myla bags there. And the courgette. So, yeah, that's my inside pantry. Um, I was gonna do the annex store today, but I think we're gonna leave that in another day because the freeze dryer is still on and is it's quite loud. The oil free pump, it's really loud. And it's been going on now since yesterday, so I'm not sure if it's gonna ever gonna finish. But today we had power cut for over you know 40 minutes, so that might mess it up, so it's still going. But yeah, I'm just gonna sort the carrot out, the onion, the shallot, and I'm gonna go get dinner going. I've done yesterday lovely turkey roast, so I'm just gonna do some roast potato, parsnip and carrot with it. But I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me in the kitchen and the garden and see you very soon. Bye friends!